wasn't until recently, a month ago, this old man came here with the rods and uh, he said, anything you want me to examine for you? I said, yeah, here. And his actual words was this, how the hell do you get any sleep? I said, I don't get a lot. I'm not surprised, he said. six times in a week. The power of an incubus is said to be colossal. Humans have got no answer against it. It's a demon. I was grabbed by the hands and thrown across the room. In a small Gloucestershire town of Wotton under Edge lays a 12th century grade 2 listed building with a past so dark and sinister its story will chill you to the bone. The ancient Ram Inn was built in 1145 with the sole purpose of housing the local priest. It was later lucky to survive a fire that ripped through and destroyed most of Wotton under King John's reign. After this, in the 13th century, it was heavily involved in the construction of St Mary's Church that sits opposite it. During this time, the slaves that constructed the church were housed at the Ram. A tunnel is also said to have run between the Ram and the church. In its more recent history, the Ram was converted into an inn. It's at this point when many of its ghost stories started to make an appearance. It was sold to a Maurice de Bath in 1930 changed hands frequently after this until 1968. 1968 was a significant year for the Ram. It was the year that John Humphreys purchased the property and just in time as the Ram itself was due to be demolished under a council scheme. John dedicated his life to the Ram and brought many of its existing ghost stories into the public view. He also shared his own first-hand paranormal experiences with the world. Sadly, in the December 2017, John Humphreys passed away. The grounds that lie beneath the inn are often blamed for part of the paranormal activity that occurs here, as there has been evidence unearthed of human sacrifice, a pagan burial ground and also an ancient spring. However, possibly the most significant thing about the grounds are the ley lines that cross in the middle of the site, one of which that also passes through the centre of Stonehenge. As you enter the bar area of the building, you are drawn straight away to an open grave where human bones were found. It is said to still hold the skeletal remains of children further on down. It is also said that a lady by the name of Elizabeth was murdered in this room, with her body once being hidden under the bar. The barn is said to be one of the many hot spots of activity in the ramp. People have claimed to see dark figures moving across the doorway here, and some have even claimed to have been attacked by a poltergeist, the most famous account appearing on the TV show Most Haunted. The first room you come to on your right is the Beaufort room. This room was once filled with the sounds of crying, murdered spirit children, according to the owner. However, once placing children's toys in the room, this strange phenomena stopped. This ancient building is full of many old peculiar artefacts, including the large grandfather style clock that stands on the landing. It is said that if you stare into the face of the clock, faces of the dead will 
will often appear staring back at you. It's also on this landing where a young spirit girl is sometimes seen playing. The most famous and most haunted room in this active house is the Bishop's Room. When the ancient ram was still being used as an inn, it was not uncommon for guests to run out of this room in the dead of night, leaving their belongings behind. Some have even fled through the window. Furniture is said to get thrown across this room and the ghost of a cavalier seen there. It is also said that there is a spirit of an evil monk, hell-bent on causing misery and death as he once did in life. Not to mention the many spine-chilling accounts of incubus and succubus activity. Finally, we come to the weaver's attic. It's up here where many years ago a former innkeeper's daughter was hung. Since then, people have reported hearing the sounds of heavy furniture being dragged and the beams creaking. Could this be the sound of her final moments being replayed through the very structure that helped take her life? Tonight we hope to answer this question, and many more, at the Ancient Ram Inn. So anyway, here we are in the bar area. Seriously creepy place. Uh, we've had loads going on already. We've had, um, oh God, we've had bangs, bumps, cameras turn themselves on, batteries dying. Like I said, we've been setting up and resetting up constantly just because of issues we've been having. This is the barn area. Strange things have been caught in here. Recently, I've actually seen a photo of a man hanging in here, um, which was a bit strange to say the least. Beaufort room, as you can see, more creepy photos. Camera system set up. We've got a uh, K2 meter on the bed and monitored by a camera. Right, this is, as you can see, the bishop's room. If you're not before we enter, as I've heard that's good practice. I've knocked on the door and something has literally knocked straight back. So, I'm fucking shitting myself here. I've left me bloody walkie talkie downstairs, so. Okay, here it goes. Yeah. See if anything else knocked back again. In fact, I'm going to head upstairs. I think I'm going to head up to the attic. Purely because I actually give up with that bishop's room. There's something in there, and whatever it is, it's going crazy. But it uh, it certainly don't want to be caught on camera. Anyway, this is uh, the top floor bedroom. I can hear the REM pod going off beneath me. Can everybody on the live feed hear that? Okay. Tonight's been a slow starter for us because it's just, well, I say slow starter. Everything's just gone crazy from the get-go again, so it has been a bit of a sort of, we don't really know what to, where to start because every room seems to be quite active, particularly the bishop's room, don't you agree? Yeah, I would agree with this. So, I think right. I should take a seat on the bed. And my name's Brian, this is Nathan, we're the Paranormal Detectives. We'd like to communicate with any spirits who may reside in the Beaufort room. If there's anyone in this room, please show yourselves to us. Speak using the device in my hand. Or we'll sit down on the bed next to Brian. We have a device on the bed. You sit next to that or touch it. And it will show us with your presence. Even better, show yourself to one of our cameras. Tell me your name. Did you once live at the ancient ram? You mm, can't listen to the stroke now, aren't you? Do 
Sie ja. Is there anyone in the Beaufort room with us? They're coming sit on the bed next to me. Next to this green light. How long have you stayed at the ramp for? Can you show yourself to us? Touch the device on the bed for us. So there are meant to be 20 spirits at the ancient round. Is there anyone in this room with us? There's also meant to be an incubus. If you're here, Incubus, do you come into this room? Right. Yeah. <coughs> I saw you knock it on the head now. You're getting fuck all. Right, um, we're back upstairs. We've just done a spirit box session in the Beaufort room. Um, as far as we're aware, we didn't really get anything, did we? Um, Not majorly. Uh, so, we are now going to head back into the Bishop's room again. The REM pod's been going off in here all night. I mean, earlier on today when I come up here on my own, um, about what, half ten, something like that, it was... Uh, a bit crazy up here, the door's been knocking, we had loads of different things. Then we're going to go and form some uh, EVP sessions in here and see what happens. Okay. Wow, temperature is freezing in here. Absolutely oh. freezing. Is there a spirit present in this room? Did you knock the door earlier on? Atmosphere feels very different in here again. Do you want us to leave? Do you want us to leave? What? What's with the REM pod then? Oh, no. Right, I'm just going to go for a look because what I'm going to go and do is I'm actually going to go for a <coughs> lie down on one of the beds whilst I'm whilst I'm filming you. REM pod's going off. No, I think that's a temperature deviation again. It's not going in full swing like it used to, or like it has been. Ironically, I actually feel like this room's got slightly warmer. Mm. Okay, that could have been me. Okay. Is the REM pod going off? REM pod started going off as I'm... And it stopped. Okay, this is interesting. Right, so I'm going to go for... I'm going to an EVP. A lie down. Did you just set off our REM pod? Did you touch the device on the bed? Did you touch the device on the bed? <laughs> it feels like my left arm's just gone like a block of ice. 
Right, Brian is lay on the bed. Is anybody here? Can you lie on the bed next to him? The bed in the middle of the room. Please lie on the bed in the middle of the room. How you feeling? Sick. They're sick. Mm, nauseous. How about you? I'm alright. Not too bad. Now we're in the most haunted room in the ancient ram. And I'm calm. Things were crazy early on, it just feels so calm now. Feels very calm now. I don't know if it's try and torment it a little bit. Uh, no. Sure? Yeah. Not torment, but try and... Mate. Do something fucking... Not particularly good here, I don't think. It's gone very quiet, though. I'm still waiting. Hmm. We were we were downstairs earlier and we heard the REM pod going off, that device on the bed. But since we've been in this room, you only gave us a few beeps. You haven't really shown your presence much. Is there anyone in this room with us? Can you speak into one of the cameras? Can you show yourself to us? Give us a clear sign that you're in this room. Right, should we head upstairs <coughs> to the loft, or the attic, and um, see if there's anything up there? Yeah, see if the motion sensor's gone off and perform the Ouija board. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah? Yep. Yeah. Okie doke. Or maybe not. Okay. As if we're going to leave the room. I don't think we're finished here just yet, if I'm honest. The REM pod started to go off. Is that you doing the REM pod for us? It's peculiar. Can you do that again for us, please? Mate, I've gone freezing. Right over my face. Oh my god. What? I feel like I'm a block of ice. I almost feel like I'm bit, I've got something crawling over me as well. It's just a bit peculiar to say, but... There's a light up there, then. Where? In that corner. Which corner? The one I'm pointing at? The dresser, at? there. That's the one I'm pointing at. I don't know if I caught the it. The light went up, the, up one of the beams. Was that you trying to manifest? Can you set the REM pod off again, or can you show yourself in form of a light, or... Show us an apparition of who you are? We'd like to communicate. We only want to say hello. And know that you're here. Well, as it's gone quiet once more, and the REM pod stopped with the activity yet again, it actually feels like it's warmed up again, which is really weird. That it was like a wave of cold air, almost, when the REM pod was going off a minute ago. But I think, <coughs> uh, as it's all seemingly gone to quiet again, I think we should head up to the uh, the attic. Yeah, I totally agree. We'll go up in the attic and see, uh, see how we're getting up there. Very peculiar. Right. Certainly a good room to put the room probably in that one. Wasn't it? Yeah, I think we, we chose well with that, didn't we? I'm honest. Right. Hey, look. Going off again. Room pod is. Yeah, I'm just gonna get that. We've only just left. Bloody yeah. Bloody open, you. you do that again for us, please. Did you not do it then? Is that is that you in that room doing that for us? Make it go off again, if so. 
Look at the actual breaks in the wood from when John Humphreys used to bang it with his cane. Oh, that's peculiar, isn't it? Really peculiar. I, uh... Would have been nice to have met John. It would have been lovely to have met John. Right, so this is... We are going to the loft, aren't we? I'm just out of interest. I'm just going to pan this... Uh, you probably saw this earlier on. But... Um, where we're actually heading. If you can see that in the video, but this was the hideout of Will Crew and Scoose, England, England's last two highwaymen. So um, this is where they were hidden. It's very, very narrow up here. It's very, very difficult to get up as well. Yeah, so this might this might be a bit of a struggle with the camera, but I'll do my best. Oh, my head. Yeah, I've already smacked my head off this a couple of times today while setting up. Um, doesn't really do it justice, even for me. Oh, yeah, done it again. That's four times now. Very creaky up here. Mm. Yeah, they're having the mirror. As I just said, we haven't done too much in the, uh, the Weaver's Attic. It's an interesting place. Apparently there was a woman hung in here. So, uh... Well, we have just had a word come up on the ovulus. On the ovulus? Sorry, we are, I don't know if you heard that properly. Um, we have just had a word come up on the ovulus, and it could be linked to what you've just said, actually. Um, but the word, first word that we've had come up on the ovulus is, <coughs> is the word chain. Chain? Chain. So the first word we've had on the ovulus tonight is chain. No. I mean, was she hung by a chain? I, I don't know. I, mean, I, I would have thought rope, but... Sit opposite you. Well, that probably sounds a bit stupid, who knows. Something we noticed in the bishop's room, every time we mentioned that we were coming up into the attic... The REM pod went off The REM again. pod went off, almost as if something didn't want us to come in the attic. It was almost like it was trying to prevent us to le from leaving the bishop's room. Yeah. Is how I'd describe it. But it's only happened we've mentioned the attic, I think... I don't know, it does seem peculiar. <laughs> I'd, I'd stay in this room. Just seem that the activity has dropped. Um, there's been reports of furniture being dragged, etc., across this room and the noise of it. <coughs> I mean, to be honest, that's something we've experienced earlier on in the night. I've had another word. What's that? Olsen. Olsen? It's a name. Uh, all I can suggest with that is we'll have to do some research and. Uh, off the top of my head, nothing comes to mind with the name Olsen. Forever. So we just had the word forever as well. Do you know what? These are very... Since we've been in the attic, this is one thing to note. Since we have been in the attic, the responses on the ovulus... Well, that's a fair point. We haven't had anything all night on the ovulus. I mean, whether it's just kicking in or not, I don't know. But it's... Um, that's probably one of the most impressive runs of names and words that we've had in... None of it seems to make sense at the moment now. I think we'll definitely have to do some research into this and... Uh... Is there anyone in the attic with us? Can you speak to us? Use your energy to give us a word. How many spirits are in the attic? Can you tell us your names? Can you make a noise for us or move something? Right, so we're going to set up the Ouija board session now. So now I could have swore saw something on the stairs. Really? Yeah. At the corner of my eye. That's really startled me. What did you think you saw? Honestly, I thought I saw a bold bloke stood on the stairs. I, like, literally, I was looking. I had the camera pointing. Like a monk? Just a bold bloke. What? That's perfect. What? The ovulus has just gave us a really interesting response. What's that? Orbs. Orbs? Orbs. 
That's actually made me really jumpy again. I've been quite calm. It's, um, We've been fine up here until this moment. Yeah, I was looking into the room we've just been in. And uh, over my right arm, obviously there's the stairs, and I could have swore I saw, as you can see where my camera is now, literally a bold-headed figure just stood there. By the time I moved the camera, it sort of... I'll be honest, it made me freeze a little bit. Right, so we've just made the Ouija board up. We've got our cameras locked in place so you can see a nice close-up. And um, we're going to start a spirit board session now, aren't we, in the, uh, in the attic room, in the other, other, other side of the attic room. Okay, so we'll begin then. So, what we want to do, we want to call out if there are any spirits with us at the ancient ram. We only want to communicate with good spirits. And if there's anyone here, please use this board to communicate with us. My name's Brian, this is Nathan. Tell us your name. Is there a spirit in the ancient ram? Is there a spirit trying to communicate with us? In the attic? Please use this planchette to move to yes or no. Or give us a message. Do you have a message for us? Are you trying to spell a message out to us? Is that a H? It's a H. T H. Go to the next letter for us. trying to communicate with us? Were you trying to give us two different words? Or is that one meant to be one word?
Jake. Yeah, yeah, random letters. Are you trying to spell a message or are you just moving the planchette for us? You trying to give us a message? Give us the next letter, please. Is that the end of the message? I can't remember if I said it went cold or not, but I felt colder. We're going to thank you for communicating, we're going to say goodbye to you, and we're going to ask if there's anyone else who wishes to communicate with us. If there's anyone else here, any other spirits in this attic or in the ram, who wants to communicate, take control of the planchette and spell out a message for us. Is there anyone here?